Hello, Cancer. Welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for the first half of May. I've meditated upon the cards. I have pre-shuffled. Let's get into your reading, Cancer. During meditation, Spirit showed me a keyhole. And before I tell you what that keyhole uh, meant for me, um, I want to tell you about the pre-shuffle. We got the two and ten of pentacles together. You got the magician with the three of pentacles. And then you got the lovers with something. The lovers with, I don't remember what the lovers was with. And then you also got the two of cups as well. I don't remember what the lovers was with. If I remember, I'll, I'll shout it out and I'll, I'll tell you. Um, but as far as the keyhole is concerned, and I'll tell you what those cards mean as well. As far as the keyhole is concerned, I just wanted to make sure that I said it before the cards start popping out. Um, <clears throat> as far as the keyhole is concerned, there is a pretty huge opportunity for you. Um, the keyhole was massive. So I feel like this is a really big opportunity for you. You hold the key, so it's going to be up to you to unlock whatever that is. Um, but it's the opportunity is there. It, whether you open up the door or not, unlock it or not, completely up to you. But it, the opportunity is there. Um, I, I was also getting... Okay. I was also getting... Um, with all of the, the pre-shuffle cards that were just jumping out, they, they could not contain themselves. There is very possible that you are dealing with a relationship, whether it's new or not, I, I don't know. But between the lovers and the two of cups, it just felt very like a strong union. Um, it, but... I should also say the uh, the sun in this particular deck, the, the sun came out in reverse along with a couple of other different cards. And it feels like it it feels like this opportunity has now come because of a past opportunity that was difficult. It feels like there was a like dark times that were in the past. And now you're coming into an opportunity and there it feels like there's some sort of hesitation to move forward because of that past dark time, whatever that looks like for you. Okay. If this isn't love, uh, this isn't a new relationship or th this isn't, um, a retry again with someone, it, it could just be a new opportunity and something that you do enjoy doing. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at your cards. We have the Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Jesus, um, the Devil, Four of Swords, Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, Strength Card, and Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. With the four of pentacles, what I'm getting is that same energy that should I go forward? Shouldn't I go forward? There's a, there's that hesitation. It, it's like your intuition is saying go for it, but your mind is saying slow down. So that's the kind of energy that I'm getting here with the four of um, crystals, the, the four of pentacles. Yeah. With the even here with the seven of pentacles, it's like you're moving forward but cautiously. I feel like this is a really good energy with this uh five of pentacles. I mean, it says here new possibilities. The five of pentacles does not mean new possibilities, but with this particular card, um, it it I mean, it's saying it, which is very interesting. I normally don't ever read the, the bottoms, but this is clearly saying that five of pentacles is being left out in the cold, you know, but I feel like that time has already passed. 
you don't have to be, you don't have to, okay, let me rephrase that. If you still feel like you're out in the cold, if you are left out in the cold, it is of your own doing moving forward because that chapter has passed. It's already closed and now it's you're moving onward to a new chapter. Whether you're going to take this or not, I don't know. It's going to be completely up to you, but the energies are there and it feels like it's a really good opportunity. And I said that before I even saw the cards. I mean, maybe you're dealing with a um, queen of pentacles. Maybe you are the queen of pentacles, male, female. Don't worry about gender. Uh, this is not gender specific. This is just energies that we carry within ourselves. You may be dealing with a Capricorn, um, with the devil here. Hmm, 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 hmm. You know, with this Queen of Pentacles, there's another energy coming through. I do want some clarifiers here specifically with this Queen of Pentacles because it feels like you may have dealt with somebody in the past because this porcupine is looking to, or hedgehog, I don't know what this is, um, to the left, like looking inward, like it's the past. It's not looking forward. You may have dealt with somebody that was more about money, more about the comforts of life. So there's, there's two energies here with this queen of pentacles, someone else for sure. And then the other one, which I don't know whether this, this is you or the new person. I, I'm not 100% certain. Um, I, I will get clarifiers. But it feels like this is coming up to a more peaceful time. Yeah, even with the devil here, the, the devil normally has two lovers chained together. And I feel like this new thing or this new person is a lot more, um, they're ambitious for sure. Maybe you're ambitious, but I feel like you elevate them or they elevate you or both. Um, like you elevate one another, like you use, it's almost like you use your past that you've broken free from and you've learned from it and you help each other build up financially, emotionally. It's, it's almost like you empower one another. And you know what? This is a card of self-empowerment, but I didn't even read that. I was really focused on the strength card. Yeah, I feel like this is a great opportunity that you certainly, um, the opportunity is there for you to take. And I feel like you're moving forward toward it. Toward this new love offer. And if this is not a love offer, this is an offer of something that you really will love. If this is not a relationship, in in case of this dual energy, this could be um, maybe perhaps in the past you were more struggling with, not struggling with money, but struggling um, as far as um, working to for the comforts of life, for prosperity. You were working just to make the money. But it feels like now you've come into a stage where you don't want to just work for money. You want to work for, for, for your heart space. For the you want to do the things that you love, not just to earn the money. Okay, that's if if this is not love for you, then that's the other energy. Okay. Wow, King of Cups, Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands, and Five of Swords in reverse. Okay. It feels like, okay, so these are the two energies. The first energy I talked about was loving, caring, comforting, right? King of cups, ace of cups, self-knowing. Um, I, I like that energy a lot. That second energy that I was talking about, um, they were very, um, it was about themselves. It was about themselves. It was about um, show. It was about look at me sort of a thing. 
So whatever that looks like for you. Okay. And if this is a business uh, or company or job opportunity, this new job opportunity, that first energy is a, is a, like a warm, inviting atmosphere, something you want to do that you desire to do. The past job may have had a lot more friction and it was like, there was no um, synergy there. There was always um, like, it was, it felt cold. Okay. It just felt like it had to do work, 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 and, and no like warm and fuzzies, like even like meetings or like celebrations that were there, they were, they, they felt almost forced. Okay. I, I hope that makes sense. Cause that's the kind of energies that are coming through. All right. Um, okay. Advice here. And then we'll get our outcome as well. Right now let's focus on the advice. Okay. Two card. Wait, one card. Absolutely foul. Hold on. Tower. Hold on. Oh, please. I gotta go and get the card. Okay. Ten of Wands was at the uh, fell on the ground. The Two of Cups spirit just reminded me that it was showing up in reverse. Chariot also in reverse. We have the Tower. Two of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Death, the Lovers, Hangman in Reverse. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. And the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. Okay. Listen. Listen. Remember I told you Lovers came out, so did the Two of Cups. Okay. What this is saying as far as advice is concerned. Oh, by the way, I told you about the strength card. I, I know I barely tapped on it, but it just feels like whatever this is up here, this opportunity, it's a very strong, good, fortuitous opportunity, financially, mentally, spiritually, whatever that looks like for you. But it's it feels very, 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 very good. And it empowers you in a very beautiful way. I say that because of these two particular cards, okay? All right. As far as advice is concerned, they're saying, listen, pack up your nonsense with the uh, 10 of wands. This is the prettiest 10 of wands ever. Um, the 10 of wands is carrying a burden, right? It doesn't look like she's carrying a burden. What it looks like is that she's packed up and she's like, I'm done with the burdens. I'm moving on to lighter times. And that's what I, I get here is like you're moving on to lighter times. Specifically here with the four of swords uh, just above it. Move on towards lighter times. Forget the past hiccups, the past disappointments, the past um, things that were not aligned. Ignore all of those things. It's now time to move forward towards and make the choice and move towards the thing that you've wanted, you've always wanted, that you've desired, you have longed for, it's in your hands. It's what I said at the very beginning with the, the keyhole, it's in your hands. Are you going to make that move or are you not? It's ultimately up to you. We have uh, several cards of transition. We've got death, we got tower, and we've got 10 of wands here. This is this is movement and the wheel of fortune, by the way, this is movement. Okay. This is, and the chariot, even if it is in reverse and the hangman in, in reverse, right? Chariot in reverse is still moving, right? It does, it's not stopped. It's not halted, right? It's just slowed down. So move forward, move forward cautiously right? You doesn't, nobody's saying that you have to jump in, but definitely just don't remain lingering there waiting and, and, um, and wondering, well, what do I do now? What do I do now?
Burning Man, Collective Power, Supreme Prayer, Three of Cups, Celebration. This is the time. This is the time. It's time to burn the old. Supreme Prayer. Remember I told you here with the Three of Wands, this is Three of Cups. You may be seeing 33, 333, uh, but... It's pretty much what I was saying here. Whatever that wish was, go and get it. Whatever that you've been praying for, wanting, it's yours. It's yours now. The opportunity is here. Go and get it. Go and get it. It's here. Celebrate it. Celebrate it. And I feel like this is, funny enough, I'm getting an energy of, uh, divine timing here with this particular burning man it's almost like you're like oh out of nowhere this came in how weird you know we we have crossed paths many times you know this is a small town um we go to the same meetings we we shop at the same place but we've never met one another or we never crossed paths and here we are meeting very, yeah. It's almost like, you know, it's funny. It's almost like you're saying to the universe, let it come to me. Come what may, let it come to me. For some, not, not for all. Some of you are saving money to go towards the thing that you really want to save to for for the I don't know whatever that thing is you're saving for something many of you feel much lighter in energy and more enthusiastic and full of emotion and it makes you feel like yeah, I got this. Like, yeah, you know, it's funny because it, 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 it feels like it's making you stronger and weaker simultaneously. It's almost like you have this strength about you, but there's this beautiful vulnerability about you as well. Yeah. more please there it is two of cups at the bottom of the deck in reverse stop thinking about the past disappointments stop thinking about the let go of that let go of that don't don't let that hang you up all right don't let that because that's twice that the, the two of cups is showing up don't let that hang you up. Look, don't let it hang you up. This is what this is saying. Don't let it hang you up. That's twice that it's repeating. Don't let the past hang you up. It. You have to choose to move forward. If you want this to move forward, you have to choose to move forward. And then you're probably like, well, well, I don't choose not to move forward. You know, how does someone do that purposefully? You may not be doing it purposefully. You may be doing it subconsciously, okay? You may be doing it subconsciously, but either way, it's still present. Um, I'm seeing the archer here with the lovers. It's the first time I notice it. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? All right, we have... Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Hierophant, Hermit with the Queen of Wands. Huh. All right, Spirit is saying that there's two different outcomes. Whomever that first energy that I talked about with the Queen of Pentacles, she's showing up here again. That queen of pentacles that we were talking about, 
that first energy, right? Whether it's a person or a business, a manager, a company, whatever. This isn't a showy energy. This is, I like what I like. I like things simple, but I do like the finer things in life, but I, I also like things simple. This is, this is the thing, whatever energy that is, that's the thing you commit to possibly married. Okay. Um, but that's the thing you commit to for that second energy that I was getting with the queen of pentacles. Remember I told you, it's like, I was getting those energies, but there's like that dual thing going on here. The second outcome is if you're still dealing with this queen of wands person, or situation where it's um, too showy, too needy, too wanting, um, you know, that kind of uh, sucks up your energy. That's the thing you need to withdraw from. Okay. So be mindful. This could be all one person, right? But they may have dual energies. And they may show up differently at different times, right? It, it could be the same job but maybe different positions or uh, the same company, but different positions, right? Take the one that feels lighter that you're able to give your time and energy to, right? That you're like, yes, I'm able to work, but I'm able to work gently, comfortably. Not the one that just sucks you dry, right? Pull away from whatever that is, all right? Go into hermit mode when it, when it comes to that sort of an energy, You'll know your situation, but both are here. So I have to share both outcomes. Okay. All right, my beautiful ones. That is what I have for you. I hope this did resonate. If it did, like, share, subscribe, and comment. I would really appreciate if um, you click that subscribe button. Um, it's free, no cost to you, but it does help my channel grow. And not only that, I'm also able to connect with your energies far better when I do the readings. All right, my beautiful ones, until we meet again. Bye.